what's up guys so we got garage privilege here and you know what that means i got the garage for the night so we're gonna be installing the volvo power steering electric power steering pump i'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know particularly installing on a three port rack so i'm gonna show you what i got so far i went to the store to go get a couple things for this so oh i got all this stuff from advanced auto and some of the stuff you got to get from like amazon and stuff like am stuff but i'll show you how easy it is i just got to make the mounts we're gonna figure that out maybe i'll i'll put it in this video or not so yeah we got the volvo power steering pump over here and then i actually reused the high pressure line on the um from the power steering system so this is all mazda oem this line here all mazda oem it goes through here threads through here and then connects in the middle so that's the feed line the high pressure but for the low pressure i actually have to make this so this is a m16 by 1.5 to 6 an male to male adapter what i'm pointing out right here and um, it's particularly for power steering high pressure applications and then here is a uh, 6an 90 and then i crimp it up here and it goes here and then i got this clamp so that is the lines and then the last one is uh this last one here um just needs to be blocked off so i blocked it off by actually uh it was originally a line i'll insert a photo and i just welded it shut so i can secure it once i'm finished with this whole fiasco and then we got the pump sitting here i'm gonna make some mounts and as for wiring it's actually pretty basic so constant power and it's going to get fused with an 80 amp fuse. So this is a subwoofer, um, like one of those subwoofer um, fuses. And then ground, we're gonna ground it somewhere around the chassis nearby. There's so many grounds. And then I got eight gauge wire as it's rated for this. And some more eight gauge wire. This is about six feet for each. And then we got some butt connectors. These say 10 gauge, but I think it should fit through. So we'll see. And then I got some terminals here. I got some ATF to fill the pump with. I got this Allen key that came with this kit. And it came with a 40 amp fuse, which we're not gonna need. So I'm just not, I'm not gonna record it. Oh yeah, lastly for wiring, um, the other connector here. So if you look here at this blue wire, that actually tells the pump to turn on. So what I'm gonna do is since I have, I might put it on a switch, um, but since I removed the trailing coil, if you see here, this black and yellow wire gives it switch power. So I might use that. So it's the wiring. Why do I keep dropping this? Ugh. That is the wiring. It is pretty basic, but there's so many, so much confusion. Oh, I forgot to mention. Actually, no, I didn't forget to mention anything. But yeah, I also got a bleed funnel kit. Uh, these spill-free funnels, so I can finally bleed my coolant system properly without having this car overheat. So, put my air filter back on. This fell off the nut. I'm gonna get another one. But yeah, the car's coming along. I'm super happy made the power and ground wires haven't cut them to length yet but i'll handle that soon i'm just going to need one of these and then replace that so i'm going to also splice this into where i said to trigger the uh, pump to come on it might annoy me hopefully it doesn't drain the battery too much i just this is temporary most likely i might have it on an independent switch so i'm going to do that real quick and then show you guys the wiring and then we should be good in that regard you got everything wired up I have my ground wire over here i'm gonna find a nice ground to put it at i have the ground which is from the engine to the battery and then the inline fuse and that's going to a circuit breaker since my battery is relocated in the back but you can hook it up directly to your battery as long as it's fused and then the signal wire just tucked away over there so i'm going to test it out and see if the pump turns on and then i'll be back pump turns on absolutely fine i don't want to keep it running for too long but i'll show you if i key it on wait my key's not even with me Ugh. pump is all all right a trial two 
Alrighty, that's rad. It's got some coolant. We're gonna top off. Finally, you can use the spill free funnel. Super hype. And then, gotta go put some ATF in the car. Hopefully, I'll have power steering again. I'm so hype. So, hopefully, this is enough. I doubt it is. <laughs> but with how short the lines are, hopefully, it is. We'll see. Which is shocking with my FD alternator. Um, letting that, but so far I'm just bleeding out the system and God, I have power steering. It is so easy. Look at how easy it is. That is insane. Oh my God, this feels good. Wow. Let's go. Um, well, for my first car back in high school, jack up the car and kind of to bleed out the system, let the cap out, and do this about like maybe 30 times if you want your power steering not to be crappy. So if you look at my voltage, it's at 14, but at full lock, it drops to like 13 and a half. So you can hear the RPM kind of boop. But so far, just for normal driving on the street, Voltage should hold up, but one of the things on the list is it looks like we might have to upgrade this alternator to maybe like a 180 amp alternator from IRP. But overall, I really, really like this. This is good. Feels like a luxury car. As you can see in that clip, I'm terrible at drifting, but it's a start. Um, power steering feels absolutely great. Um, one thing I need to do, and I'll show you guys as I advise. So you saw that banjo that I welded. Let me get the flash on. Um, one sec. Right here, that welded piece at the bottom. I need to put a crush washer in between it. Um, it's leaking just a little bit, but... If we look at the fluid level, we haven't lost much fluid, although it's super milky. Yeah. Yeah. It had so much crap in the system. It's like horrific. So I might flush it again. Um, but yeah, I have to clean up the wiring a little bit here, which I'll do. And I gotta make mounts because it's held by zip ties right now. And then <laughs> being held on the intercooler pipe, which is horrendous, but kept it in place somehow. But yeah, um, hopefully this helped anybody. Um, I'm gonna have a link, link in the description to my RX-7 Central thread on how, on all the technical details regarding this. I'm gonna actually have to edit it, but overall, super hyped and um, the car is definitely coming along. We definitely need to paint this thing and make it look pretty now. Um, as you can see, I focused a lot more on functionality. My fitment can say otherwise, but yeah, I just need to get a headlight cover and some side trim and then we'll have her painted. Um, this stuff costs money. I'm in college, as you guys know, and nothing's cheap. So thanks for watching, guys. And... Uh, have a beautiful day.